Hi there and welcome to UK Root Beer Reviews. I'm Pete and today we're going to be reviewing Dad's Old Fashioned Root Beer. Now most of us root beer fans in the UK remember when McDonald's used to have root beer in their stores. Uh, unfortunately that's not been the case for about 15 years. They, they stopped stocking it because it just wasn't popular enough. Uh, so it's quite difficult now for us in the UK to get hold of root beer. Um, now when you consider how popular root beer is in America and Canada and other places like that, it, it may seem quite surprising, especially to people from the States who come over here and look for their favourite drink. Anyway, today we're going to be reviewing Dad's Old Fashioned Root Beer. Uh, now Dad's is one of the larger brands of root beer in the US and they've been around since 1937. So they're pretty well known. Uh, but a company in Droylston Droyles, have only just started importing this to the UK. Uh, it's come straight from America, from their plant in Indiana. And, uh, you know, thanks to them, I was able to order 24 bottles directly from their website. Uh, it came in about £18, which is fantastic value for money. And um, let's take a look. So first of all, let's have a look at the bottle. Now this is quite an unusual shaped bottle in the UK. Um, my wife said it looks a bit like a vinegar bottle and I can see what she means. Uh, now this particular bottle holds um, just under 600 milliliters or in America we would uh, describe that as 20 fluid ounces. So it's larger than a bottle of Coke uh, that you might find in a garage or, or somewhere similar. Slightly smaller than the larger bottles of Pepsi that perhaps you've seen. Uh, but rather unusual shape. Usually in the UK we're expected to see uh, taller, thinner bottles. So, um, so yeah, a bit unusual. Um, but let's take a look. So the first thing I'm going to do, and this has been in the fridge overnight, so it's nice and cold. First thing I'm going to do is just to pour it in. Okay, that's looking good. Now, take a look at the head. Okay, now that's holding quite a long time. That looks, to me, that's just about right. Um, it doesn't disappear immediately. Gives you a nice, long, lingering head. It's just dropping off a bit now. And uh, very attractive. It also, when you slide the root beer up the glass, it clings very slightly to the edge of the glass. And I really like that. Um, it just makes it much more appealing. I don't know why, I just, um, I just feel it's uh, an interesting, uh, thing to, to, to see. Now let's have a little sniff. Yeah, straight away you can smell that um, that sort of vanilla flavour. Um, it, it's not actually vanilla, it's from the saffrafras root uh, which is a particular type of tree that they, you find in America. That's where the taste of root beer comes from. But you can definitely smell that. Um, some people in the UK, if they're talking unfavorably, they don't like root beer. They describe it as being a bit like germaline, which is a sort of disinfectant smell. But uh, I particularly like that smell. Yeah, that's very nice. And the color of the root beer, nice and dark, okay? Not too light, a nice dark, certainly I'd say darker than a Coke uh, or a Pepsi. Right, so let's give it a taste. Yeah, that's, that's a very, very nice tasting root beer. Mm. It's not too sweet. A lot of root beers in the UK that you can buy in shops and supermarkets, in my opinion, they're too sweet. That's just about right. This isn't a diet. This is, a, this is just a, a, a full, what we might describe as a full fat root beer. It's got the sugar content in there, but it isn't too sweet to taste. So it's not too sticky. Um, doesn't taste too sickly. Mm. That's just about right. That's a very, very enjoyable root beer. So, um, just to remind you that the root beer I've been uh, reviewing today is the Dad's Old Fashioned Root Beer. Uh, it's available in the UK directly from the distributors, which is justrootbeer.com. 24 bottles, 
It's about uh, just under 18 pounds. They've got a special deal on at the moment. Um, let me know what you think. And, uh, and tune in again for uh, the next set of Root Beer reviews. Okay, cheers.